What's up YouTube, Meister Tom Gaming here, and if you're like me, you're watching this video because sometimes your frame rate in Battlefield 3 can be a bit uh, choppy. So uh, you're going to want to download the program, I have the link in the description, it's called Battlefield 3 Settings Editor. Open it up after installing, and you're going to get a screen that looks just like this. You can uh, keep it just like this, you can go to Options, Themes, Dark. Dark's slightly more clean, so I like it like that. Go to New Profile, you can name it whatever you want, and then go to Gameplay. Put Animation Quality and Physics Quality all the way down. Graphics, you can just skip Sound. Sound's just whatever sound settings you want. Graphics, Full Screen Width, 800 and uh, 600 for... Uh, the resolution's going to be kind of bad. Uh, you can definitely get used to it after playing a few games, and it will really increase your frame rate. Uh, I just like to keep it at this because I don't feel like having my frame rate that low. Full screen refresh rate 60. Overall graphics quality, custom, low, everything. This uh, one times. And then you go down to uh, console, 200. Uh, draw FPS, you don't have to enable that. just gives you an FPS counter on the top right corner of your screen. Uh, save settings, profiles, and uh, it's activated. It just automatically changed your Battlefield 3 settings. So you can minimize it, close out of it, whatever you want. Then you're going to want to go into, type in NVIDIA, Control Panel, Manage 3D Settings, and you should have a program Battlefield 3. If you don't, just click Add and go to the root folder and click Battlefield 3. And you're going to want to pause it here so you can see my settings, but you're going to have these settings set. Um, texture Filtering, anisotropic filtering sample on quality high performance definitely do high performance texture filtering trilinear on op threaded optimization on triple buffering on set all your settings down like that and uh, click apply at the bottom you can close out of that you're gonna wanna restart your computer after doing this though definitely restart it or it won't work uh, so restart you got that and now after you restart you want to go to your Battlefield 3 folder. And if you haven't already done this at a point, go to File, or New, and Text Document, and create a new text document called User.CFG. You can edit it with Notepad. And you're going to want to put this in it. I will uh, put it in the description, so just copy and paste it right in there. What this does is the console in-game, you could type these uh, each one of these lines in one at a time, and it will... Uh, See render.drawfps1 in the console by hitting the tilde key will put your FPS on your screen. This will keep De DirectX 11 off. So basically, um, instead of going into the game and then clicking the tilde key and typing all this in one at a time, it does it automatically for you. You're going to file, save, exit out of that, close this, and then you're going to open Battlefield 3. So this is a screenshot of when I'm not recording. You can see it's uh, pretty good right now. Um, even when I'm recording, the game still looks great on low. You see my frame rate drop down to 30 because I have fret set to put it down there, so I have good performance while recording. Um, game still looks great. Uh, do not forget to restart your computer or this will not work. You need to have your NVIDIA graphics card settings set. Um, so that's pretty much it. I'll post the program in the description and the user.cfg file in the description. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely tell me what you think and if this worked for you in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Hey, here's your